local unitary equation. Uh, so let's begin with some definitions. The system we consider is all isolated qubit, uh, the qubits uh, with the Hilbert space, uh, the Hilbert space uh, that is a uh, tensor product of uh, L copies of C2. Uh, and uh, the physical meaning uh, has the projective space, uh, which, is, uh, which uh, can be found if, if we normalize the vectors from the Hilbert space uh, and uh, neglect, neglect uh, global phase. Uh, so P of H um, is the Hilbert space uh, where we identify uh, vectors uh, <coughs> that, uh, that differ by uh, Multiplicative uh, constant. What does it mean when you have this point isolated qubits? Uh, the isolated uh, they, they are uh, distinguishable. So the implication is uh, the form of the given space. There's no need for any symmetrization or something. It's, it's just a tensor form. Uh, and, uh, and there's a, another implication that uh, uh, there is uh, that uh, each qubit, because each qubit is located in a different laboratory. Uh, the only available operations, uh, the only operations we consider are local unitary, uh, which means that uh, there are L copies of uh, unitary operators, each of them acts uh, on, uh, on one qubit. Okay. Uh, and uh, we say that two states uh, are local unitary equivalent. There, is, there exists uh, such local unitary operation that transforms one, one state uh, onto another state. Uh, and there is another important notion uh, in this case, which is the notion of qubit reduced uh, density matrices. Results of local measurements. Uh, and uh, they can be defined uh, by uh, uh, they, they can be found uh, from uh, the, the big uh, from the, uh, the density matrix that, that corresponds to the whole state, which is just a projective matrix on the state. Uh, and uh, the Cave, uh, uh, density, uh, the cave reduced density matrix is formed uh, by tracing out uh, over the remaining subsystems, uh, which can be denoted in this way. So the result of this operation is uh, a matrix. Say that uh, they have the, the information about the local measurements because uh, the expected value of uh, such set of local measurements uh, is, uh, can, be, can be described uh, by this formula. Space is also a symplectic manifold, uh, which means that uh, there is a symplectic form on, on this uh, manifold. Uh, symplectic form is. Uh, this one, because of 
simply what means Fubini study? Study was a name, so you can start with capital S. Fubini study. Ah, study no, was, no, I'm sorry. was a person. As a person, how could I know? So it's in fact the two forms. Actually, I have a focus idea who study was. No bad ones. Nobody knows. Yeah. Even so, this requires a lot of studies. Study, he was studied. Study, study, yes, he was studied actually, yes. This is the first, but it's so very hard to explain to anybody so speaking in English that he was studied no. and studied. <laughs> this is the first thing, okay? So, so I think that everybody says for you study. But in, in that context, for me, who is that for me? This is that for me. <laughs> for me is that for me, but who was studied? Nobody knows. So you know, as Adam? So how can that be that? German, German mathematician. German mathematician. Oh. Oh. Yes. The human did that. This is the end of the story. Okay. <laughs> the human did that. This is the end of the story. The human did that. Let's Google it. So it's so a symplectic uh, form is a two fork, which is Q symmetric and non degenerated. Uh, so two vector factors from the tangent space. Q-symmetricity means the symmetricity means that if we change those vectors, operations uh, preserve uh, this form, which means that uh, for all kinds of uh, k, uh, the full back. Maybe at this moment it's not important to stress that it is under local unitary, uh, it's simply under all unitary transformations, so in particular under local, which is a sample. And which is. <laughs> So it okay, so it preserves. Uh, and uh, the momentum map has a nice interpretation in the case of uh, local unitary actions, the uh, operators, uh, which is that uh, it assigns to a, to a state uh, phi uh, a collection of its uh, shifted uh, one qubit reduced density matrix. That was in, in simpler language, in, in case of two spins or something like that. The bombs more and more. Did you have two subtract ones? This, this, this is momentum. There is no misprint here. Momentum. Okay. So the, 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 the formulation is uh, uh, rather simple. So we look for the, for the uh, uh, map from states to the, to the set of reduced density matrices. And in physics it is easy. You can, you have to trace all other and then have a, you have a collection of density matrices. What is interesting and what is actually the main tool of what Tomek is doing is that this can be put in some uh, form of a geometric, okay, in some geometric language, which is uh, very well known from completely different part of, of, of mathematical physics, namely purely from classical mechanics. 
So it means that momentum map is something which is very, very important in, 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 in such a symplectic geometric, uh, symplectic uh, formulation of, of, uh, of uh, classical mechanics. Namely, this is what you probably know, some kind of variation of Delta theorem or something like that. So it, uh, that, that's why it is called momentum, because in the simplest case, it's, it maps the, the, the uh, phase, phase, point, phase points uh, phase space points to, to invariants, okay? Invariants which are, in this case, uh, could be momentum, for example, angular momentum, something like that. And this is the momentum map, okay? So it has some remote uh, connection with the, um, uh, with the data theorem because this also stems from the fact that there is a symmetry under the, the group action. So the symmetry here was that uh, this whole, whole structure is preserved by this unitary group or this particular sub subgroup which Tomek took into account, and then uh, apparent, uh, actually this mapping, which from physics we know as mapping from the state of a composite system to the set of collection, or collection of, of its reduced density matrices, can be expressed as the momentum map in this, in this symplectic geometry. And because there are many tools of how to investigate symplectic maps, also momentum maps or symplectic actions of the group, so that's why this is a powerful method of of, 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 of investigating what is the connection, uh, especially with respect to these local transformations. Yes. Well, well, why do you have to subtract this one half? Yeah, in the yeah, human yeah. language, what do I do? This is what is written here. Yeah, but I, 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 I don't understand what is special. Dots? No, dots usually. No, those are commas, okay? So there is commas. You say A1, A2, comma, A2, comma, dot, 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 comma, A1. Between the commas and dots. Ah! Why you have to subtract? You can tell me. Because because this momentum map is the mapping from the from the space to the algebra. The algebra is traceless. And matrices are not uh, density matrices are not traceless. So you subtract trace. Yes. yes. Okay. Um, and then you have something like Pauli matrices. For example. Yeah. No, no, Pauli matrices maybe it's not a. Yeah. Okay, for some some case, yes, yes. In this case, it's for this is exactly Pauli matrices. Mm -hmm. For some cases, yes. Some. That's true because this is a mapping combination of Pauli matrices in the sense because yes, is, there, is, there is a mapping into algebra. And algebra is spun by here. It is. A uh, okay. So uh, and uh, it has the, the, the momentum map has a property that it is equivariant, which means that uh, if we act on the state by a, a group element. Uh, we we obtain uh, the in, in, in the image. It means that uh, we we act on those uh, matrices with uh, k on the left and uh, k Hermitian uh, conjugations on the right. Okay, it is it is denoted it is denoted by this as an adjoint action. Um, K is a combined two unitary matrix. No, K is a collection of. Uh, K is uh, S, 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 uh, S, S, U, 2 to power F, okay? K. Or L. But little K. So it stands a product of L. Uh, uh, Roman, two by two, 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 two by two, maybe. Yeah, so you should try K1, K2, and so Oh, yes. Uh, then it would do that. Then it would do that. But by K, I mean the, a collection of L matrices. Yeah, okay. but, 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 but when you multiply K by the 2 by 2 matrix, you can mm -hmm. only one of these. Mm -hmm. OK, so we can say that uh, no, like it should be K1, K1 and K2, K2 and so, so on. OK, you can make another conversion which is even more complicated. It's always in this, uh, this third dimensional space, and uh, that only you write this what is important. So in particular, in, in particular 
So uh, in particular, it means that uh, we can choose such such collection of uh, those matrices that diagonalize that diagonalize those density matrices, right? Uh, so I have a picture that shows what is happening here. So we have a state phi that is marked by a momentum map of uh, real algebra. Uh, and here we have the collection of, uh, of those density matrices. Uh, and uh, we can consider a, a or an orbit uh, through this state, which is mapped on the, on the adjoint of orbit. Uh, and each orbit can be diagonalized, each uh, matrix can be diagonalized, diagonalized which, uh, which, which uh, means that uh, if, uh, this line is, is a, uh, a set of diagonal matrices, uh, this fact means that uh, each uh, adjoint orbit intersects uh, this set at exactly one point. But there is one more thing that uh, this is the set of uh, matrices that have uh, an ordered, ordered spectrum. So let's say that they are uh, in increasing degree ordered. Okay, so. But still you have some freedom in choosing the scale in which they analyze the matrices, yes? Because you can choose the faces arbitrary. Yeah, that this is what I say. So, so this is not only once one K which they analyze. No. no. But, 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 but when we say that. Uh, Spectra are ordered, there is only one. Case. No, no problem that the K is one, but the intersection is, is made uh, 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 unique by, by choosing the order aspect. Ah, okay, modulo something. No, there are many K in the thing. Okay, so, so by, by T plus I denote the set of, uh, of diagonal matrices that have ordered spectra. And it is called the positive line chain. Um, so the point where the adjoint orbit intersects this uh, D plus uh, is given by, by the spectra of, of those matrices. Yeah. So that was uh, in a way a reason why you subtracted this one half, because then the two eigenvalues just differ in sign. Yes. 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 Otherwise, yes. they would be quite different. Ordering would not be then so obvious. This way. Uh, so we can define uh, now we can define a uh, map psi uh, that uh, assigns to the state the collection of spectra. Okay, and uh, this is what Professor said that uh, uh, those numbers uh, are, have just a different sign because we have sub subtracted uh, one half. So lambda i is uh, one half minus pi where uh, those are eigenvalues of pi, and uh, we have uh, to add that uh, pi is uh, less or equal than one half because uh, the spectra has to be altered. And, and there's uh, a very Beautiful result that the image of psi is, is a convex polytope. Why the eigenvalues of rho must be less than one half? Because uh, so one of them is one of them. One of them is ah, one of them is yeah. and the other one yes. is and one, one minus. Okay. Yeah. And I and the the this is yes, this is the convention. Uh, so there's a beautiful result about this uh, map that uh, its image is a convex. Uh, and the inequalities in that define this polytope uh, are uh, the first set of them is uh, quite easy to understand. It's just because the we have chosen uh, uh, pi to be less or equal to one half. This is because it, 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 this implies that lambda is greater than zero. Uh, and uh, the pi is greater than zero, so lambda is. And the second uh, set uh, of uh, the inequalities uh, is uh, more difficult to uh, it's, uh, it's, the, it's, uh, it's the implication of the probability distribution. So this 
special examples of the police dogs for two and three years. In the two qubits case, uh, the police dog is only one dimensional, and those vertices are uh, the images of uh, the, the uh, yes, uh, image under the moment of view of a state of a uh, state where Here in the audience, there are some voices that you didn't uh, know that, that it's a result of somebody or somebody or somebody, but the result is known. And this is this is exactly the symplectic geometry is known as the as the uh, as in the commutative case as a, as a, as a, uh, no, Kierman is later. I think this is first one was Atia. Atia, Atia. About the convexity of 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 moment man, yeah. of the image. Okay, so and in the uh, three qubit case, uh, there are the point of this two dimensional is three dimensional, and uh, there are more vertices. Those vertices are from bisoparallel states. Uh, so, for example. So does it mean that all endowment states for two qubit situation are equivalent in this sense? That you can go from yeah. 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 G, C. Yeah. Yes, but if you take another entanglement state. No, so there will be somewhere in the middle on this, yes. yeah. or in the in, in, inside uh -huh. of this polytope, okay. and each point in a sense. It's a full polytope, so yes. it has points inside, yes. Yes. So you just have to stay okay. in the middle of the entanglement. So to determine the shape is not, so you have to calculate the reduced density yeah. matrices and diagonalize them and then. So the spaces that we are interested in are the pre-images of uh, the points from the point. Okay, so we denote by alpha a uh, collection of alpha is uh, Tom, there is something which is maybe you, 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 you imagine because in this two qubit case, okay, you can actually virtually distinguish this classes by this point, okay? And the problem will be how it is for for more than two qubits. Okay, mm -hmm. so this is the, this is the main issue. Mm, so the alpha alpha is the point from the from the polytope. Uh, and we are looking for for its pre image in, under the momentum map. Uh, and uh, this is not the whole space that we are interested in. We are interested in uh, a reduced space where we identify point, the points that lie on the uh, same uh, k-alpha orbit where k-alpha is uh, a slight stabilizer of alpha <coughs> under the adjoint, adjoint action. Um, there is uh, also a connection between a reduced space and uh, a reduced space defined in this way and uh, uh, pre image under the sigma. Uh, and this is the formula. This is the same as the, uh, as the pre image under the sigma, uh, where we identify the points that uh, lie on the whole chiral. 
So what is the meaning of the dimension of uh, reduced space? It tells us uh, how many additional parameters are used <coughs> the local unitary equivalence. Because uh, we have two states that uh, have the same spectra of, of those reduced density matrices. And if they have... If, if, so we, we can suspect that they are local unitary equivalent. But to be sure, we have uh, to look at those uh, reduced spaces. So maybe one point. If it were so that we can decide uh, uh, about the point by looking at the spectra of reduced density matrices, so we then can say, for example, whether the state was entangled or not entangled. <coughs> but it can happen that, for example, that to the so we equivalent when we really transform one state to the to the other state. We know something about one, so we know everything about the other one. Because we have a local linear transformation, which means that we change actually the coordinate system in each of our laboratories. But the, so the problem is, if it is so, it's okay. But usually it is not so, and then we have to add some additional information. This is additional information from a Okay, so the main question is, how does the dimension of those reduced spaces vary for different parts of the point. And uh, it is not the same. It is different on the boundary and the, in the interior. And the most interesting result is that uh, the dimension of this, this space is zero for the large part of the boundary. But uh, let's first uh, look. I mean, it's there, it's nice. Yeah, it's, so it's nice because it, it is enough to to look at the matrices, at the spectra of produced density matrices, and if they are the same, we know that the states are local unitary equivalent. If if they are mapped on the proper part of the which I will mention later. <coughs> so let's first look at the interior of the polydot, which is the easiest case. Um, there is uh, there is a uh, union of k orbits of the maximal dimension in the projective space, which we then we denote uh, by the index max. And we know that uh, this union is connected, open, and dense. So it has the, t the same dimension of, uh, as the uh, space of states. And this, this is the implication of principal isotopy theorem. Um, so we know that uh, the image of this union under, under the map psi is, contains the interior of the polytope. And the pre-image of the point uh, from the interior of the polytope, uh, the common part of uh, this pre-image with uh, this union is also connected, open and dense uh, in the pre-image. So it has the may, I, may I say in, in few words, which could you maybe clarify? So if you if you take a very particular state, for example, one half, one half, so obviously whatever you do unitary with this state, it stays the same, okay? Because this is a, a so this is a, a low dimensional orbit, okay? But there are some states for which this this uh, this orbits are max maximal dimension. So all the matrices which can be obtained from this one by this k k action, okay? And if you take <coughs> the union of all these orbits, so then it is nearly the, as Thomas said, nearly the, the, the whole space, okay? Not nearly. Yeah, but, but it's enough to consider only this space because we are looking for the dimension, okay? Um. <coughs> uh, <coughs> so, such variety is described by, by this equation. And we can apply the implicit function theorem. Right? Uh, and this theorem says that the dimension of the fiber of map, map psi is the same as uh, this is not what the theorem says, but it is the same uh, as the dimension of the tangent space. And now uh, here's the theorem. This is the same uh, as the dimension of the kernel of the derivative. Uh, and on the other hand, uh, because uh, 
save us a lot from the projective space to the to the polito. Which is somehow in accordance with from what we know about uh, about the determination of local equivalence or deciding about entanglement or something like that. That it is hard because it's close exponential. The information. <coughs> um, okay, so the dimension of the reduced space uh, is this number minus the dimension of the uh, group K because we, we said that. Uh, the k orbits are of maximal dimension, and the generic k orbit has dimension 3 and it's, it is the dimension of the ERG. Uh, for SU2, the dimension of the ERG is 3, and you get L copies of this 3 uh, okay, So let's move to the boundary of the polytop. Um, we have uh, three cases here. Uh, the first one is when k of uh, lambdas are equal to one half, which means that uh, there are k, uh, the k of uh, reduced matrices are uh, a projective matrices. <coughs> and the second uh, case is uh, when one of those inequalities is an equality. It is the, the gen a general method for finding uh, uh, a phasis of the point of which is defined by inequalities. Okay, so we, we change one of the inequalities uh, to the equality and uh, we obtain a phase. And this is the case where, where the dimension is zero. So this is the most interesting uh, case. And the last and the, and the hardest uh, case is uh, when k of the lambdas are equal to zero, which means that uh, k, uh, k of uh, one qubit reduced matrices are maximally mixed. So this is why in a two-dimensional case this was only the line, because the second case does not is equivalent to the first one, and the third one is also equivalent to the first one. And um, no, the, uh, this is. Uh, this is point. This is a separable state. This is a separable, but uh, case 2 and case 1 are equivalent. This is GHZ, and uh, case 2 is the line. Yeah. The interior of the line. The interior of the line. Of the segment, actually. Okay. Okay. So in the 2 qubit case, uh, it is interesting that uh, the, the eigenvalues of the reduced density matrices are the same. And the, they lie on the line. Um, so this is the case one. The, case, the first k one q density matrices are the projection matrices. Uh, it can be seen that the inequalities reduced uh, reduced to the inequalities for the L minus k qubit polytope. 
uh, and the generic state uh, is the tensor product of uh, uh, k qubits of local state and uh, generic L minus k qubit state. So we can apply the same reasoning as for, for the interior of, of the photon and just replace uh, L by L minus k. So this is the result in this case. And it also grows exponentially. So um, let's move to the case two. Here we assume that uh, by symmetry we can consider only uh, the equality for lambda one. Uh, so we assume that uh, this, this equality is satisfied. So we will now we will use uh, the, the, the second definition of uh, the reduced space. And we will use the, fa the fact that the image of the derivative at uh, point phi uh, is equal to the annihilator of uh, the, the algebra of the of this, uh, this stabilizer of state phi. Uh, and we will use this fact to find uh, this, this stabilizer. So if we have, have a stabilizer, uh, we, we search for the eigenvectors of this stabilizer, and we have, uh, and we check, to check which uh, of, of them are mapped uh, to point alpha, and uh, on this, uh, which are mapped on, on this space. Okay, so, and, and, and this is, and, and, and then we have uh, the, the state file. Um, so this, so by, by equivalence of the moment map, we know that a stab stabilizer of uh, a state phi uh, is a subset of the stabilizer, stabilizer of point I, alpha. And because alpha is, uh, a, is, a, is a collection of diagonal matrices, uh, the stabilizer is also uh, are all diagonal matrices. Okay? So we know that, uh, the, mat that, that uh, the matrices from the stab stabilizer of state phi are diagonal. And so this is why we consider the matrices from the image of the derivative that are diagonal. Uh, which uh, means that um, they are tangent to the, to the face of the polyton. Okay, because the map is from the tangent space uh, to our, to our states, the space of states to the tangent space to the polyton. Which is a vector space, and we again uh, can uh, say that it is the same as, uh, as, the, uh, as the vector space itself. Mm. Okay, but uh, and uh, and uh, we, we, we want the stabilizer to annihilate this image, which means that. Uh, uh, the vector that corresponds to, the, to this stabilizer is perpendicular to the face uh, of the point. So. Actually, the, the last sentence was the most important. Yeah. Uh, so this is the conclusion that uh, the, the, the stabilizer. Uh, the vector corresponding to the stabilizer is, is diagonal, is uh, of diagonal matrices, and uh, they are they are perpendicular per to the face. Uh, so this is the vector that is perpendicular to the face, uh, and then in, in, can be translated to, into the language of the matrices. And it, this is the represent, representation that uh, acts on uh, this space of states. Uh, so we need to mm -hmm. uh, sorry, we, uh, we need to find the eigenvectors uh, of x that are mapped to the considered phase. <coughs> and so by, cal by the calculations uh, we find that uh, these vectors are of the mm, Okay, so we have the, the general form of the vector that is, that is uh, mapped uh, to the phase. 
So maybe to summarize this, so so to put it in, in the words which are which are maybe uh, human language. Human language. You have the situation when you, uh, as it is uh, usually called in quantum informa uh, information theory, that there are several parties and the sh they share a pure state. Whatever it means that they share a pure state, it means that everybody has uh, access to only one uh, subsystem, every laboratory, and make a measure. Make a measure. Okay, so make a measurement in such a way that let's say that they are that, 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 that they are able. To, to determine the, the, the reduced density matrices or at least spectrum of this reduced density matrices. And the question is whether they can uh, reconstruct the initial state from which this, uh, uh, this, uh, so this is, the, the, for many of this uh, quantum information task is very important to some power. For example, to reconstruct the state up to some, up to some, something, okay, up to uh, equivalence or something like that, some kind of equivalence. So, so the, the problem which is, 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 uh, is uh, <coughs> solved here is, so how much additional information we need to do this reconstruction? We know that it's not always possible, usually, maybe not usually, but it's not possible in general to reconstruct the, uh, the state from the spectra of reduced density matrices. So, uh, so this is, the question is how to quantify the, the amount of information which we need, which we still need to, to reconstruct. And as you see here, for example, the state was reconstructed. With a, okay. Because it was a particular state. A particular point in this particular point in this polytope. Okay, so it depends. So the, the first first qualitative statement is it depends depends when on the polytope we are, <laughs> where on the polytope we are. Okay, and so so that's why we, the, there were these three cases. Okay, so the interior it was on the on the, uh, on, the on some on some phase of this uh, of this polytope. So the interior and the three parts get on. He's now considering the second part of the boundary. And yeah, so what he shows is that uh, when you take a point from the second part of the boundary, can you go back to, to the equation? Oh, okay. One more yeah, here. So there is uh, this equality was previously inequality. Mm -hmm. So when you change it into equality, you are on the boundary. And now you look at the states which are mapped to some point on this boundary. And he found that all these states are given by this equation. If you go now forward, that they are given by phi. And this C1, C2, and so on, they are not, there are some coefficients. And just now we have a variety of these states, and we need to check whether Yes, we could, if this variety of states is uh, just uh, one k orbit, many k orbits, or is it possible to decide how many k orbits is in this variety just by using information about one qubit density matrices spectra? And what we, yeah, so now we can say. Uh, so uh, there's another theorem that uh, tells us uh, that this were, this, the, the dimension of the reduced spaces from this variety is zero. Uh, and this, is, this, can, this can be seen by considering, by considering a big, bigger group that uh, is a complexification of the group K. Okay? And so this is uh, a group of L copies of special linear parameters. And uh, each uh, state of this form belongs to the orbit uh, of uh, substrate W. Which in physical tests means that they will can be can, can be uh, obtained by this uh, how is this slot, yes? Slot, yes. Uh, Local uh, transformations which are not uh, necessarily unitary, but they can can also have some dissipation. We know that this, orb this orbit through the state is sp spherical, which um, precisely means that uh, the reduced uh, spaces uh, are zero dimensions. Uh, so the hard 
this case uh, is the case three where k of uh, the lambdas are zero, which, mean, which means that uh, k, the first k one qubit reduced density matrices are maximally mixed. And uh, here we divide the group k into two parts. The first part act, acts on the maximally mixed uh, matrices, and the second part acts uh, on the remaining uh, matrices, on the remaining qubits. So, So the momentum map uh, starting from the action of K1 is the first K reduced density matrices. Mm. And uh, if they are, uh, as we said, if they are maximally mixed, uh, the image uh, of a state, state phi under mu1 is zero. Uh, and it doesn't depend on the remaining qubits. Uh, uh, we know that the, 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 cool, the, the pre-image, if we form a quotient space from the pre-image uh, of zero under, under the first momentum map, which is also a symplectic manifold, and we can act on this manifold with uh, the direction of K2 uh, and obtain the remaining uh, L minus uh, K reduced as it matches. Uh, so now we can apply the same reasoning, uh, reasoning as uh, uh, for the interior of the polytop uh, uh, at the beginning. Uh, and the dimension of the this space uh, is the dimension of the, uh, of, of the, of the space we are acting on and minus uh, the dimension of the polytop minus the dimension of the group. The dimension of the polytop is known with and this L minus K. And the dimension of the group, group K2 is 3 times L minus K. So, this, so the, the hard part is, to, the, most, the difficult part is to find the dimension of this space. And in order to do this, uh, we have to know uh, what are stable states. So, uh, if we consider any complex any simple group which can be which in this case is K1 and it acts on, on the projective space and that's uh, and, and mu is uh, our mu1 and uh, it is the corresponding momentum map uh, and we assume that the pre image of zero is an anomaly set which is the case at hand uh, and also we the note uh, by G bar a, a complexification of group K and uh, define such set uh, which is the set where the common part uh, of uh, G orbit through state phi so we, we act with the all the slow CC operators on the state and uh, check, to check if the common part with uh, the pre image of zero is uh, a non normality set. And we know that uh, the set is open and dense in the projective space. So it, is, it has the same dimension as the projective space. And uh, it is uh, enough to take a smaller set, uh, which is a G orbit through. Uh, for the pre-image of zero, up to zero. Okay, it is also an open, an open uh, set. <coughs> states that belong to state to set X are called semi-stable. So, so this is the our definition of the semi-stable state. And you say that uh, a state from X is, uh, is stable if and only if it is mapped uh, to zero by the momentum map. Uh, and uh, the, the K orbit through the state is of maximal dimension. So maybe you should stress that uh, this G or G bar times phi orbit is typically not closed. So it's that's why. Uh, not every stable point, not every semi-stable point is stable. 
I was to remind you that this which are mapped to zero, it means that they the density reduces density matrices are maximally big. So this could be somehow escaped. Okay, and uh, this is uh, the same condition but uh, LG orbit is maximally dimensional. Because the <laughs> dimension of LG orbit is two times the dimension of the K orbit. Remember that this was exactly the case to an extent that it is the hard point or, on, or the most non trivial point in this calculation of, of the, the, this number of parameters. Okay, so it was. Uh, so so we can uh, uh, put these results in, uh, into, uh, into the equation for the dimension of the space. Uh, this is the dimension that we are looking for. This is what we knew because this is the polytope. So it has the dimension L, L minus K. Uh, the group K2 has the dimension 3 times L minus K. Uh, and the dimension of uh, this vari variety is given by, the, by this formula, by this formula which uh, translates into such number. Uh, so the final formula uh, is of this form. Uh, and the interesting result about this, this formula is that the dimension of the reduced space drops down by two if, if we add uh, one more uh, maximally mixed to the density matrix. Uh, so, so to complete uh, the proof, uh, here is a here is a stable state. A stable state that, that is stable and, uh, 
under the action of uh, K1. Okay. This is the GHZ state. Uh, this is a state where one is uh, on the first qubit and on the second qubit. Uh, and, the, and the one moves uh, to the right uh, up to the last qubit. And the second vector is uh, on uh, by changing 0 to 1. can be proved that uh, this state is mapped to zero under the momentum map. So all, all of this, uh, all, 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 all density matrices of this state are, are maximally mixed. Uh, and the dimension of the, of the GR between this state is uh, the dimension of the energy. So uh, this is uh, everything that I wanted to say. So you cannot distinguish them by the no. local observations, and this is obviously true. So you cannot recover the state from the radius matrix. Sure. Sure. Yes, yes. So that's why I was confused because basically I asked about this apparent state that you said that it's somewhere on the line. There were various terms that have some meaning, and I didn't get the idea why, for example, some states are called stable. What does that really mean in physical terms? For the others, His, this is language of geometric This is historical, historically from the geometric invariant theory. Somebody knows what they are I don't know. This is how they call them. This has nothing with stability you could... You could you no, no, could. I know that this is not stability in the thermodynamic sense, but... No. <laughs> in, any, in any reasonable sense, it is... It, uh, well, it, no, it, Hansley do not use offensive words. But this is the language of the strange dramatic variant here. I don't know. Who invented it? Kirwan. The word stable sounds profound. Do I Maybe they are invariant under some permutation. You will call it the complex state. If there are no more questions, thank you.